favorite project I've ever worked on is probably Brigham and Women's uh, Building for the Future. My favorite project, probably because I got to see more of it from start to finish, would be uh, Pier 4 down the seaport. Favorite job since I have been in is Vertex. That is because we made pipe history in local 537. We put up the most pipe that has gone up anywhere. And in a matter of time that we have done it in, it was the best job that I've had so far, thus far. Not saying that they're all not good, but that was the best. I think, it, and it, I think if people hear this, they'll probably be surprised that I say this, but um, the Amgen project is, is becoming one of my favorite ones, and I think it's because it was such a challenge in the beginning, and then to see it where it is now, it's like, wow, we did a pretty good job on this. I like the idea that this is the second biggest job Massachusetts is going right now, and uh, it's something to hold your hat on when it's done and tell your kids that, you know, I worked on this project. Uh, I think at this point, probably my favorite is, is still M Block, even though it's ongoing. Um, so we'll see how it finishes. I'm, I'm hopeful. Um, but because M Block was the first job that we really did a heavy pre-construction, and I think on M Block we proved that it's a, it's great and it's an effective uh, approach to uh, starting a project. That uh, I think that's going to end up being my favorite. I was on Millennium Tower two or three years ago and uh, that's cool because when you're driving into the city, I'm from South Shore, when I'm coming in I can see the, the skyline and it's so prominent. So it's nice when you're coming in with friends or with family and I can point it out and say, oh I was on that job. So. The, um, the, my, my favorite project that I probably worked on would be uh, Brigham and Women's Building for the Future. Uh, it, it's, a, um, it's a lab that they research your brain, uh, brain diseases which is pretty interesting considering my, uh, my grandmother passed away with dementia and it's probably, yeah, it, she, was, she was 92 but it was tough watching her go that route. Um, so it's nice to see, you know, labs and hospitals come along with that kind of research because it, it could, you know, it could help my, my family in the future.